1991, we're gonna do some improv for you. All we need is a suggestion of something that makes you happy. Cat. A cat. 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 That cat fucking strong. Well, I've been feeding it really good meow mix. I infused it. That's it? That's all you've been feeding it? Well, I infused it with some things. Wait, like what? Yeah, try, try it again. Son of a bitch. Freaking mess with my cat again. Wow, I, all these years I've been kicking your cats and I've never expected this to happen. Well, that's why I had to get smarter. So I, first of all, I got an iron cube thing, and I shaved it with a little zester thing. Okay. I used the shavings of iron. Okay. Hi, ma'am. I'm from the uh, Daily Reporter. Hi. I just have a few questions I'm for you. I'm Charlotte. Hi, Charlotte. Robert. Um, there's been some weird stuff going on around town. Just wanted a clear so. <laughs> well, I've heard some things interesting happening about a cat, and uh... Cats are normal. <laughs> Most of them are, but uh, people have been saying they swear they could see a flying cat around here. Oh, well, they're probably seeing things. Sometimes sun gets in your eyes, and then you <laughs> see things. Yeah. <laughs> is your cat right now? The windows are open. The sun is shining in. This cat is just... He's an abusive boyfriend. Just because he's not hitting you doesn't mean that he's not abusive. It's just he came from a rough childhood, you know? I mean... What's up, Cindy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, just when I thought it couldn't get worse. Aw, <laughs> uh, shucks. What are you going to do about it? Well... Okay, don't stick the cat on me. Please, do not Well, I gotta do what I gotta do, okay? No, I swear, I promise I will be a better I boyfriend. I mean nice anymore, okay? That was my grandmother's chair. Yeah, oh yeah? Well, my cats are gonna pee on it. All right, miss, I know cat wounds when I see them. Just admit your cat killed him. I don't see how that would be possible, because my cats are declawed. All right, good point. <laughs> Sit down. I am. <laughs> Richard, when you came here to this Mortimer Academy, we thought that you had high hopes, that you were going to shoot for the stars. But your low levels of reading, mathematics, and philosophy <laughs> has led me to believe you're just an average person. But I advance in ballet and the arts. Let's, let's see that. <laughs> Straighten your back. Oh, Richard, that was a yoga class. <laughs> I'm sorry, but we might have to expel. But I advance in the arts, such as ballet and can't Are we training geniuses or gays at this school? <laughs> <laughs> Colonel Morton, Mortimer Singlefein, I understand that you've given us many, many, many dollars. Well, I, I've learned a couple other things, but it was with the boys in the locker room. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Columbus sailed the ocean. <laughs> 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 Magellan circumnavigated the globe in 1520. Well, he attempted to. He didn't actually make it all the way. And Greg Luganis is gay. <laughs> uh, Gerald is a good man, and he tries. But it's still not having an effect on you. Well, I've, I've also learned about a lot of heroes like Christopher Columbus and Greg Luganis and <laughs> Freddie Mercury and <laughs> the guy that played the piano. Freddie Mercury uh, brings me back to the summer of 82. Uh, I got two tickets to Queen and after that night I knew I wanted to become experimental. 
the dean of this school. <laughs> Liberace, that was his name. A great pianist, but... What'd you just say? Was it a Freudian slip, sir? <laughs> That's the oldest joke in the book. Penist sounds like penis. I'm aware of that. I've been here for 20 some odd years. You lectured him for two hours about what? Penist. Pe and you wonder like why penis. our genius scores have tanked. It was because. Look, sound, listen to the words. Penist. Penis. Penist. Penis. I'm gonna need proof. 